When I was up in the mountains, Grandmaster Akshar used to always speak about how you need to prepare your container and when your vessel is ready, the universe delivers. But he's always questioned, how do you prepare your container? How do you equip that vessel, how he usually puts it? And when I started to realize that the universe can only give you what you want and divine alignment will only happen, and it can happen instantly, by the way, but it will only happen when your vessel is actually in alignment with what the universe is going to deliver, then I realized that it's very important how we prepare for that. So in this video, we're gonna break it down. Three simple ways and effective ways to be able to prepare your vessel to be able to speed up your manifestation so that your vessel is ready for the universe to deliver instantly. But before we get into it, show real, hit it. Namaste everyone, Namo Himalaya. This is Sri Akashana here, and in this video, I'm gonna break down for you three simple yet effective ways to be able to prepare your vessel to be able to receive from the universe. So if, for whatever reason, out of alignment or whatever's happening in your life, that you are not getting your manifestations yet, or you're wanting to speed up the law of attraction, then this video is for you. So. The three letters will be the one, two, and three. So you guys, if you're taking notes, make sure to write this down, grab a journal, grab a pen and paper. It'll help reaffirm that learning and solidify it in that subconscious mind for subconscious manifestation to take place. So grab yourself a pen and paper. The first letter is O, the second letter is A, and the third letter is P. Okay, OAP. And by the way, OAP is not old age pensioner. <laughs> OAP is something else and we're gonna get into it right now, okay? So, number one, O, how do you prepare your vessel? The first thing I see and the thing that a lot of people struggle with actually on an unconscious level is openness. My question to you is, is your vessel open? Now, when we talk about vessel, we are talking about mind, we are talking about spirit energies as well. Is it open to receiving? And how you will actually know that, I'm gonna give you a very simple scenario you probably never thought about before, but maybe the message will land this way. Have you ever had a moment before where you, for example, you really like helping people, when you help other people achieve certain things, it makes you happy, right? When you're, when you're of service and you help people um, with things and make people happy. But at the same time, you've ever had it before where somebody tries to help you with something and you find yourself saying, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. I, I, I'll figure it out myself, I'll sort it out myself. Have you ever had a moment like that before? And if you have, type inside the comments, yes, I have, okay? So that other people can resonate and other people will start realizing, hey, wait there a second, I'm that person. What I'm essentially saying is, could it, be possible that you're a good giver, but not such a good receiver. Whenever it comes a time where somebody tries to help you out or somebody gives you something or somebody uh, gives a helping hand towards something that they're getting out of their way to be able to help you, you are the person who's saying, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Don't, don't worry about it, I'll sort it, I'll sort it. Are you that person? Now I'd like you to bring it into your consciousness that act may be blocking your manifestation. Why? is because understand you attract everything in your life, every opportunity, every gift, every messenger that comes along the way. And when you are saying, no, 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 it's okay, you are blocking the energy and you are saying, I'll sort it out myself, or I'll figure it out myself. Maybe somewhere within that vessel, there could be some unworthiness or maybe some lack of self-love or maybe some thought of, if I take, then somebody else loses. Because if you keep thinking that way, guess what? It's gonna be very hard for that universal flow of the giving and receiving of the energy out and energy in. Both needs to be occurring. So I don't know if anybody resonates with point number one so far, and if it does, then maybe this is your first awakening sign to prepare your vessel. 
Allow yourself. Tell yourself every single day, I am open to receive. And when opportunities come your way or people come to help you or give you something, open arms, practice open arms saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much in appreciation of the things that come your way because what you appreciate, appreciates. You get more of that thing. You attract more of that thing, right? Now, moving into the second part of the vessel alignment is what? Is talking about the word alignment. And what alignment are we talking about? Three things in particular. I'd like you to write this down. Your thoughts, your feelings, your actions. TFA. Thoughts, feelings, actions. Always remember that. That's the foundations and fundamentals of manifestation. Your thoughts create your feelings. Your feelings create your attraction. Your attraction, add on with the action, creates the action. Your feeling creates the action. That's the energy in motion. So the more action, the more results. Whether it be on a physical or a metaphysical. So the question for you is to know if your vessel is ready, right? You need to consider what are the thoughts that go on in your head? Are they absolutely aligned with the things you want to attract every single day? Or sometimes you may be in negative vibrational frequency. Sometimes you may be complaining or sometimes you may have negative thoughts going on. Second thing is your feelings. Are you often diving into that stress, that frustration, that anger, that jealousy, the lower vibes? Because if you are, then again, your vessel is not ready to receiving the parcel. And then finally, moving into your actions. Can you honestly say that every action you are taking is empowering and is towards your goals? That is very important. How do you align that? Once you are aligned, then your vessel is ready. Then the third thing is the final P, physical equipping. Now, what does that mean, right? Grandmaster always says, he always says, equip yourself, equip yourself, equip yourself. I used to get so confused about that. But I realized, right, there is this story about a little kid who wants to, uh, wants to get an ice cream from the ice cream man. And then what happens is he says, Daddy, 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 can I get ice cream? Can I get ice cream? Daddy finally says, yes, okay, let's go to the ice cream man, get the ice cream. So he gets the ice cream. Then what happens is the kid is so, so happy. He jumps up and down, jumps up and down. He's so excited. He jumps up and down. He says, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bam. And then poof, the ice cream falls on the floor. And then he starts crying. Dad, Daddy, 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 can I get another ice cream, please? And then finally, Dad gives in and says, okay, 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 you can have um, the ice cream. Then the boy looks up at the van and sees the triple scoop. And you know what he says? He says, I want the triple scoop. And guess what daddy says? What would you say? Your kid took a single scoop and just threw it on the floor, right? Will you give him the triple scoop? Well, most likely the dad will not give the triple scoop. Why? It's because the kid is not yet equipped to even handle the single scoop. Why on earth would it give the triple scoop? So how do you equip yourself? You equip yourself understanding how are you handling your current situations. So give you an example. Let's say you want to manifest more money in your life, right? Everybody who has lack of money is always thinking all I need is more money or to be paid more. But think about this. Most people who get paid more, what do they usually do? They end up spending more, right? So if every time you get paid more and you spend more, what are you left with? Nothing. And every single time you think, all I need to do is get paid more. Why is it that it's statistically proven that most lottery winners right, lose all their lottery winnings and they become broke again within a few years, within the first five years? Why? It's because they don't know how to handle the money. So the question for you is, let's say, for example, you're wanting to manifest money. How are you handling the $1,000 that comes in per month for you right now? Is it all disappearing? And if it is, then you have zero money management skills. You are not equipped to be able to manage a million dollars. You're not even equipped to even be able to manage six figures. Never mind anymore. And that's why it's very important for you to understand how am I equipping myself? How am I having the right skill sets? How am I having the right strategies to manage what I have right now? 
Because once I can manage what I have right now, I'm equipping myself, I'm ready for it. It's the same thing with attracting love, right? So maybe you're like, I want to attract love, I want to attract love, I want to attract love, that's great, but maybe you've got the lack of love right now. Are you equipping yourself with self-love? Are you equipping yourself with that positivity and that love from within so that when the universe delivers the love of your life to you, you are actually capable, you have the capacity, those positive vibes, that joy, that love, to be able to give to them. And if not, the question is, how do you equip yourself? How do you equip yourself to be able to have those things? So it'll take skills, building, find yourself a mentor, find yourself a coach, read more books, watch more videos, learn more about that thing. And once you equip yourself with those skills, then the universe sees, number one, O, oh, tick, openness. Number two, A, alignment, tick, right? Thoughts, feelings, actions, all aligned. Right. Third thing, physical equipping, okay, tick, you got everything, then the universe will deliver instantly. And that's why divine alignment happens when you are ready. So if you prepare yourself now, you'll be able to manifest much faster, or maybe in some, some, some ways, instantly. If this video has been of any use to you whatsoever, or you just resonated with anything that's been said on this video, please do hit the thumbs up, hit the like button, allow this powerful message to get out to more people around the world so that they can live life on their terms and get the manifestations that they want. Also, comment below, let us know where you guys have tuned in from. That's always nice to know. And finally, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it. That's the little bell sign, by the way, because this year we're dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, I'm signing out. Namaste. Namo Himalaya.